I'm preparing for the physical side of the journey, the 1700 kilometers, but perhaps more importantly, I've also got to prepare for the mental side of the journey. Um, polar travel is so much more about what's going on in your head than it is particularly about the size of your muscles or how fit and strong you are. And I think that's the bit that probably scares me most. I'm looking at 65 to 70 days on my own in a landscape that already is very surreal. It's um, a, a very monotonous landscape. So you have this flat white horizon that divides sky from snow and it doesn't change an awful lot. And uh, there are days when the weather isn't good, where you can't even see that horizon between the snow and the sky. Everything becomes a, a uniform grey. And some days it gets so bad that you can't even really see the, where the snow begins and the sky starts. So when you put your foot down, you never quite know when it's going to hit the ground. When you start skiing, I think it's almost like a form of meditation because the only noise you can hear is your own breathing and the movement of your clothing. Um, you can hear the wind sometimes as it blows past you, but uh, there is no, no sound. Uh, there's no life. There's no movement. There's no colour. For me, being on my own is going to be the real challenge. I, I've not done an expedition this big on my own before. I've never spent this long in my own company in one time before um, and so I don't think I can potentially know how I'm going to react to that I know what I'm scared of I'm scared of perhaps going too deep into this meditative state that I go a little bit strange um, perhaps I lose a bit of a sense of what I'm doing and who I am and where I'm going. I'm very lucky to have uh, support before I go in terms of um, getting ready for being on my own and also training um, in techniques and things that I can use while I'm out there. Um, in the past I found things like visualisation very useful so um, it's basically just running through how you see the expedition progressing self-determination you know if you keep thinking this is the way it's going to happen it's all going to happen perfectly um, it's almost like magic it kind of makes it happen that way uh, it's like an assumption that it's all going to be all right and um, and that kind of helps it all be all right in the end <laughs>